what is going on guys welcome back or welcome to angling attics pacific northwest if this is your first time today i'm down here on the oregon coast uh, i did some uh, razor clamming about a week ago with my dog and i didn't get a chance to do as much surf fishing as i wanted so i'm back out here today ended up bringing out some of the uh, clam necks from those razor clams that i'd gotten during that trip as well as uh, some shrimp. So we're gonna be throwing some shrimp, some razor clam, see how that stuff does. Uh, you guys are gonna be familiar with this rig for the most part. It's just your typical high-low rig. We've got some one-aught hooks on there, 20 pound fluorocarbon coming down to our two ounce weight. And if you've watched any of my surf fishing videos, I'm usually using the same stuff. If it's not my uh, Okuma Rockaway, <clears throat> then we're gonna be using this Okuma Cedros right here. It's a 10 foot six medium rod. Uh, we've got that paired up with the Okuma Cedros CJ6000 reel, which uh, has been really good to me. It's basically just my go-to setup when I'm uh, out here doing some surf fishing. Got our clam on there pretty much got about two hours until high tide so my goal is my plan is to fish this two hours up until high tide fish maybe about an hour or two of outgoing tide and then uh, call it good Let's see if we can find some fish little roller second little roller we're gonna aim out towards that third one right there there we go. It hits already that's what I like baby somebody to stick Come on, baby. And they're like right there where that wave's about to break. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> there we go, baby. My goodness. There we go. Feel like a really good bite. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish at all. First surf perch of the day. We'll get it in our bag here. First fish in the bag. Back up. 
hitting it every time they get right under a, uh, a wave there. I'm gonna let that little guy go. It's kind of foul hooked, but really it was just a bit small. <laughs> they slammed it. Oh man. Ooh. Ooh. He a big one. He just got a lot of fight. Oh, that's a toad. That's a monster. Oh god. There is our Dudley fish for the day. Let me pull that guy out so I don't lose him. Oop. Probably about half hour, 45 minutes away from a high tide right now. Should start picking up. Hopefully. Fishy. Oh, that is another, another nice fish. That is another nice fish. I don't like uh, trying to get these guys off the hook when I'm out there. Half the time I end up uh, just dropping them. That is another stud though. They seem to kind of be in between like this roller that's going by me right now and uh, this other one's about 75 feet out like right underneath that wave where I seem to keep getting hit. getting little bites like that I just been starting to slowly reel it in and then it seems uh, I've been having a little bit better luck getting uh, actual hookups God, there we go. This was right in between. Oh my God. I have my drag really tight. And this one's almost full in line. That is insane. Oh my God, I'm 
Oh my god. That is another nice one. Man. I swear, there's so many different baits that are out there. A lot of guys will fish with shrimp. Obviously, we've got the uh, razor clams and whatnot, but these clam necks definitely, for me, have uh, produced some of the biggest fish. Man, we're gonna have to measure some of these guys. Get this guy in the bag for now. Oh goodness, he's too close to the water. I'm not trying to lose my fish here. Invest in a different bag. What I've been using is this uh, mesh bag that uh, came with my waders. Curious, these guys are going to be any bigger than a, uh, that other one. I don't think so. It's not a bad guy though. Let's see. I think I'm going to get these guys in the bucket, start bleeding them out, and I'm just going to get back out there. Got a good little push of waves coming in right here. Alright. Not too shabby. Bait is looking okay. So this is kind of crazy when we're looking out here. We've got waves coming straight in. We got waves going to the right. We got waves going to the left. These guys oof, converging on me right here in the middle. You can feel them messing around with the bait. Like I said, just that little bit of a slow retrieve seems to kind of get them and really come grab it. That's a silver. Oh, it's a silver perch. Okay. Pretty fish, I'm gonna let you go. Look, when he blasts it way out there and then you get hit like the second it hits water and then he's got a fish that you got to bring back in super far oh that little fella Woo! i'm gonna let this guy go too just a little too small a little too small for me i'm not looking for monsters but i'm just not wanting something Super, super tiny.
there's something on there for sure. Oh man, that definitely feels better than the one we just had on. There you go. Surfing, surf, we're just surfing. Woo! Surf right over to me, buddy. Without losing anything here. Whew. All right, there is another. It's starting to look a little bit better out here. Feels like another good one. Wish that weight always adds. Oh, look at that, it's a double. It's a double. Woo! Oh, it is now a single. Okay. The one that's stuck around is a little too small. This guy's too small. The one that fell off, I would have actually uh, preferred to keep. Whew. All right. Well, let's check out our catch for the day. These have uh, slowed down out there a bit now that that tide has changed. Not too shabby. Oh, man. There's a couple, couple of friggin' nice ones, that's for sure. Seven fish day, not too bad. Granted, we did let a couple go. A lot of bites. That's not too bad, though. Yeah. Not too shabby. As usual, I appreciate you guys watching, tuning in joining the adventure with me uh until next time best of luck to all of you guys and i hope to see you out on the water